So, Steve, we were here to discuss literacy, right? Yes, to answer Carl's prompts for these guys since he couldn't make it. Well, Carl said, at its most basic level, literacy is not only the ability to read, write, and communicate effectively, but also to think deeply and critically, all of these with an acute awareness of context and the related social nuances, power structures, and rhetorical features associated with a given context. I'd have to agree. For me, being literate means having competence or knowledge in the language, behaviors, norms, and symbolic representations of a specific domain, group, or conceptual understanding. Cheers, Steve. I've adjusted in recent years my definition of literacy to see it through a broader lens. I no longer think of literacy only as reading and writing, but in terms of reading and creating all kinds of texts in a variety of forms, formats, and venues. For example, we now use various and different skills to read digital and social media texts, the internet, Facebook, websites, both 1.0 and 2.0, text messages, informational and recreational sites. We also use a variety of composing skills now to create a variety of texts and corporation of video, digital images. Yes, literacies are proficiencies or knowledge in reading, writing, speaking, listening, and or viewing which may or may not be domain specific. I think of new literacies as the integration or, perhaps collision, of literacies and emerging and evolving technologies and media. Steve, you're on fire. Nice work. Carl believes that on one level, new literacies are the literacies inspired by emerging digital technologies. On a higher level, he thinks new literacies represent the creative and innovative thinking associated with and inspired by the proliferation of new and emerging digital technologies. Part of this involves the critical insight to repurpose new and existing technologies in creative ways. Kind of like using extra normal to represent our ideas on literacy, right? Yes, that's a good example. New literacies are reflected in a huge number for formats, tools, devices that permeate our everyday lives. Writing and reading remain critical, but they are evolving because of the sheer variety of venues, purposes, real-time audiences, instant publishing available to almost everyone. New literacies, in my view, will continue to be new as the literacy demands expand to meet the needs of continually growing tools, audiences, devices, and venues available. You run fire yourself, Carol. I also like how Carl describes literacies as multiple and complex, yet says they are at heart still about reading the word and the world, critically and actively so that one can have a say in it and effect change when needed. Literacy is power and liberation in his mind. He also makes an interesting distinction. Associated with new literacies lowercase, digital fluency is very important. It's the ability to navigate digital technologies in an effective manner. Building on the notion of new literacies uppercase is the importance of seeing digital literacy as a means of social justice and addressing inequity. Wow, that's deep. I'd have to agree. I still support the concept that we write and speak to learn, but I wonder how that process, now that it is witnessed by so many people instantaneously, will impact society, relationships, policies, governments, and global collaboration going forward. Yes. I often wonder that myself. Literacy and new literacies is a very broad area to consider, and I know that my own work and bias only reflects a very narrow portion of the totality of literacy. Yes, I know. Carl and I also feel like the concept of literacy and new literacies continues to evolve. It makes doing a workshop like this with the Neela Fellows all the more important. So, let's get off this stage and start our work with them. I couldn't agree more, Carol. I think I see Carl out there. On to the next phase of the workshop. Thanks for tuning in everyone. Yes, thanks for tuning in.